All right, y'all. Back at it again. Ah, another You know, it's to the point now where it's like, what do you say? What do you say? I say, I'm not saying anything. It looks like something that belongs in its own horror movie. What say you? Mm -hmm. Like a new super, like a, <laughs> Adidas man or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know what to do. I'm not. I'm not judging anybody. I really don't care. <laughs> it's gotten to the point now where just things have really gotten out of hand, and it's really, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's the cat's wonderful. out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag. But I'm not. It's true. He's not out of the bag. He's in the bag, and he, and then when he gets in his bag, then you know what's up. <laughs> you already know what's going on in the park. Oh, we got to do, do the thing. Oh, shit. Okay, but <clears throat> ah, How y'all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Whatever Creams Your Twinkie. I am Flavor Hype, and that is... That boy, bag boy, jack boy. Bag boy, jack boy. Double jack bag boy. <laughs> <laughs> bag boy, jack boy. Yes, sir. So. Oh, All right, so, uh, how y'all been doing? Yeah, we've been uh, just kind of chilling, hanging out, doing our thing. He just, he is literally getting in his bag, and, um, you know, we're going to get into a couple of topics. I know... Uh, we got we touched on a couple of topics topics from one of our um, faithful viewers. Thank you so very much for um, sending us some topic ideas and things like that. We will always respond. We will always consider every single topic that is that is uh, given to us. So if you have some, anyone out there who has any topic you'd like us to discover, any questions you will have about the show or about to us or about us or anything like that, just hit us up. Uh, the email is whatever cyt at gmail dot com. That is whatever cyt at gmail.com it's all like whatever cyt is, is one word no underscore or anything like that so and so just just hit us up like that um but we still had another couple of topics of, of hers that we didn't really get to last time we're going to continue and and um make sure that we get as much as we can from you know the viewers and things like that so we're going to dive back into uh, another topic that she had a very interesting topic and we really wanted to touch on it um you know we do live in the South, and you know the South is pretty much notorious for uh, racism and things like that. I mean, the entire country is, but you know it's very thick in the South. The racism, not I mean, some of the women too, but you know we'll go, we'll get it. That's another topic. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> so the the thing is, yeah. Uh, the question was, um, how do we feel about like? racism and we live in Montgomery Montgomery Alabama so how do we feel about the racism in Montgomery and I was like wow uh, I okay. mean is it really I mean first my first question was how <laughs> how bad do people really think it is but they know that it's bad it's just that living here is one thing and hearing about it from another state or whatever might be a little bit different if you're not you know around the surrounding areas to where you really experience it um, in its depth I'm, I'm from California, so we didn't really have that mentality that it, that you know people have here. And I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I don't. And that's not. I'm not saying you know anyone that was born and raised here is just less than or anything like that. It's just it's a little different. And so I think differently about certain things when it comes to different uh, types of people. But I've been here so long, I've seen what it's like to have that type of mindset. And I'm like, wow. I just don't understand it, you know, completely. I, mean, I can't wrap my mind around it. But, um, but the racism in Montgomery. What, what do you think about that? Um, well, the shit's still prevalent. Oh, yeah. um, I mean, whether people want to admit it or not, whether people like personally have to deal with it or not. Uh, the fact that we live in the South, dog. That shit. As much as I hate to say it, I'm not quite sure if that shit's ever going to go anywhere. It's just like this mm. is racism. And all that prejudice fuck shit was like born and bred down here. Like mm -hmm. They saw you and your skin was not the same color as mayonnaise. It was pretty much over with at that point. They gonna sick the dogs on you, they're gonna call you the They gonna call you the N-word and the tree ornaments and all types of other crazy ass shit like that. 
and they gonna sick the dogs on you and they gonna get you real wet with them fucking hoses. The hoses. They gonna be out here just being a bunch of fuck niggas. You know what? Mm. But you know, I, I, start, I feel like I feel like racist white people are getting to be a little smarter because they're starting to be able to look at niggas and be able to tell which niggas they can say crazy shit to and which ones they can't. So, okay. I personally don't really ever have an issue with racist white people. Now, I work at a place and I feel like some of the older white people do be looking at me like, why am I giving this nigga this? <laughs> Like they could have, I don't know. I just, I, I get vibes that like they really don't want me around. Mm-hmm. Cause like they'll just, you know how you be talking to people and they look like they barely want to make eye contact and they give you some half ass response or some shit like that. Yeah. Those are the types of vibes that I'd be getting. But give me my money and we cool. So <laughs> it's like, I don't. <laughs> I'm not I, here for this, I'm not here for you. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, if you want to be upset, then, you know, you could not eat. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. I did see something on Facebook yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, this lady went to Waffle House in East Chase. Like, right outside of East Chase and shit, Chantilly. And, and then, East Chase is a shopping center uh, here in Montgomery. Oh, y'all yeah. Damn. might not know. Yeah, my fault. I'm forgetting all y'all niggas don't stay here. Yeah. <laughs> well, East Chase is a shopping center here in Montgomery. <laughs> So we, it's a Waffle House out that bitch, and, you know, whatever else you can imagine being at a big ass shopping center, except, you know, without all the glamour. And it's got like cocaine sprinkled up. If you, mm-hmm. East Chase is like, think of a nice ass uh, apartment. No, I mean, shopping center in like Florida or something. Pretty ass shit. Mm-hmm. It's got cocaine sprinkled on it. That would be our shit. Wow. I'm just playing. It ain't that bad. Either way, I'm getting I'm getting off topic here. Um, the lady was black, okay, and she shared something, uh, an experience that she had. She went to the Waffle House. She went inside, and the manager told her that she couldn't eat inside. They said they were in the middle of a shift change, and um, you can't eat inside right now. Um, I don't know what the fuck those two things don't even go together. What? But okay. But, yeah. yeah, no, I said the same shit. And then she, so she was like, okay, you gotta order your food in here. Well, she said she had to order her food in there, and then they made her like, go, that just take it. She, I guess you can take it, take it home, Box eat it in the car. Yeah, whatever the fuck. And she said she saw some more black people come in behind her, mm-hmm. and apparently they gave the them black people the same spill. Mm-hmm. So they they got their food to go, and they left. What did she say? She saw a, a white family of mm. seven mm. walking across the street, and they went in, and they was in that bitch for a long ass time. And um, she, I guess she, she said the manager thought she left, of course, uh, but she did not leave. Mm-hmm. She was outside sitting in her car eating her food, so she saw all this shit. And the white people was in there for a long ass time, and then she said she looked in there and she could see them sitting down eating. Nobody else in that bitch. Just them. She said this shit happened at like one. She said the shift change was gonna be at like two o'clock, you know, and after that point people would be able to eat inside, or whatever. Mm-hmm. She said it was like one fifteen. Oh, oh wow. So okay. that, that that whole shift change shit was that was just a bunch of horse shit mm-hmm. to get the lady out of there. So she waited. <laughs> She waited for the people to leave so she could go back in there and cuss the motherfucking manager out. And apparently the manager was like, you know what, I shouldn't have did that, I'm sorry. But Really? You think? How? How you, how you why? How you slip up like that? You sorry now? No, you're not sorry. You mad you, you thought my black ass was gonna be out of here, so you weren't gonna say you ain't gonna have to deal with it. You can just tell me to, to fucking scram and it was gonna be over with. All right, all right. That and it's I mean shit like that. Uh, granted, that, that's some shit that can happen anywhere, but yeah. seeing that we are in Montgomery, that's the type of shit that I'm, like, I, I read that whole story and it it didn't surprise me. I expect people to be racist almost, which is unfortunate. <laughs> that's horrible, but yeah. that is a way of life. That is, that is a mentality now. It's, it's just like you have to get, if, if you're in a position like mine, or even like yours, then, you know, one of these niggas, you have to accept the fact that there's just a certain group of people that just don't fuck with you. And that's true across the board, but when it comes to racism, it's just like, 
It's a special type of alienation for for niggas, yeah. especially in the south. And uh, I just I want to punch him. I want to punch just so many people. You got me fucked up. I tell you what, you don't like niggas. You ain't about to like having a broken jaw either. Broken jaw, body. You don't like black. About a black. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your ass black and blue. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, no, you know what? No, that's that's bad. Very bad. Very bad. Don't follow that advice no, because that's just going to perpetuate the stereotype of, oh, they're just fighting their violence. We're just kidding. We're just kidding. Pussies. Where's the pussies? <laughs> but it's like, the thing I don't, okay, let's, okay, let's, let's, let's look at the flip side of this coin. Okay. Because niggas have this issue with race baiting the fuck out of white people. Oh. Race baiting the fuck out of any race oh. of niggas that ain't black. I don't oh. understand how you niggas can act like you hate racism so fucking much, but you are digging for a reason to mm. say that a white person's being racist. All they got to do is be around you and you just sitting there waiting for them to do some shit so you can label them a racist son of a bitch. I was watching Wild and Out, little white girl made a joke about how black people look the same. <laughs> I thought it was funny as a motherfucker. All the niggas on the show looking at her like, you racist bitch. <laughs> One of them even said that. And I don't know how, how serious they were. I don't know if they were just being dramatic. Mm. But for 15 plus seasons, these niggas have been making fun of whatever white people they wanted to make fun of, and everybody just thought it was the funniest shit ever. One little white girl made one black joke, and everybody's like, oh my God. We about to run over you. <laughs> and all types of vehicles and shit. Like these niggas that like a pickup truck with a Confederate flag take to it was about to drive through the fucking side of the building and pick everybody the fuck up. Like, dude. Yeah. Did y'all n- niggas. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta stop doing that fuck ass shit. Every white person is not racist. Stop thinking the worst white person you ever met is every white person that you haven't met yet. That ain't got shit to do with them. Stop. Ooh. It's like all these bitches and all these bitch ass niggas that act like, you know, other females or other dudes, the, the worst ones that they've ever met is every nigga that they've ever met. It's not the fucking case. Yeah. Stop doing that shit. You holding these niggas, you holding something against these niggas that they have, they have nothing to do with that shit. If somebody fucks you over, then okay. That's they them, do. not all of us. No. Just, that's just the shit that happens. I don't care enough about you to fuck you over. You're not that important to me. Black or white. Damn. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but you understand what the fuck I'm saying. If I don't know you and you and you meet me with that type of energy, man, stay your stupid ass over there. I ain't got time for you to be talking about how racist white people are. All white people ain't racist. My girlfriend's white. And if you try that bullshit with her, let me tell you something. This side of your face is going to be on this side of your fucking face. <laughs> or both sides of your face is going to be on the goddamn ground and your jaw is going to be loose. Leave that shit at the crib. You gonna look like a nigga did a Mortal Kombat X-ray on your shit. Oh damn! <laughs> oh damn! Mortal Kombat X-ray. Y'all gonna learn today. If you don't know already, you probably should because they've been having them X-rays for the last what three Mortal Kombat or something like that. Probably three or four. Yeah. But yeah, it's been it's been some years. They've been, they've been doing it. So, but but seriously, and, and funny you say that, and and you mentioned that, and it made me think of this. Um, there was like a, a clip. It was it's a couple of years old by now, but um, it was like uh, this a couple, like a male and female. Um, I guess they were Caucasian. They weren't black, but you know, they were, I, I'll just say white, just for the sake of the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. Um, they were on the way out of whatever restaurant. There was another couple, like two um, black females, and one was like videoing the whole thing. It was like you know, one of them apparently bumped into the uh, the friend. And they didn't say excuse me or something like that. And I was like, I mean, okay, I get it. Yeah, you know, you don't just bump into somebody and just walk on like you did nothing. Right. If that if that even happened, that's just it picked up with her saying that. You could have you you bumped into us and you didn't say excuse me because you're racist. I'm like, whoa. What? Maybe I'm just an inconsiderate bitch. How do you know I mean, how many people I bumped into before? And, I mean I I try to if I bump oh I'm sorry, you know, I didn't mean to do that. But if I bumped into you and, and didn't say anything, I'm racist? Because that makes someone racist? You think I went out of my way to bump you because you're not a nigga? 
<laughs> you think that was the focus of me bumping the, you think I, I, I picked you out of a motherfucking crowd and was like, ooh, white people. I'm going to go run into one of them. <laughs> 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 I'm going to circle back around here, go out of my way. Never mind the stuff that I got to do today. Fuck I'm going to just go, <laughs> just, just so I can not say anything to you when I walk away. No. I mean, everything that someone does, you don't have to try to attach race to that. Or, or if you get to that point, then you're looking for something. You're just, it's, yeah, it's race baiting, but you're really, really fishing. I mean, you got all kinds of baits on the hooks and just for something to, Something to latch on to. You There's nothing the there. Morning. There is nothing there. Nothing. That you are making up shit because you want to say somebody sucks as a person. Bitch, you suck as exactly. a person. Exactly. Because you are going. You are leaving your house with the express purpose of finding a reason to put somebody down for being some shit that you deem unacceptable. Mm-hmm. That's not fucking cool. Nothing's fair about that shit. And but then. If the shoe was on the other foot and somebody labeled you as some bullshit because of some shit somebody else did, oh, guess what? World War fucking three. You got me fu- You bitches do not understand. And when I say bitches, I'm not talking about, you know, the stupid, ridiculous people that we used to talk about. I'm, you, you a bitch because you think like that. The fuck is wrong with y'all, dog? Like, you swear up and down you want to deal with people that you deem okay as a person, but you're looking for every reason to say that everybody's not okay. Mm. Sounds like you the motherfucking problem. That's what it sounds like. Look inward. The man in the mirror. It can't always be the other person's fault. Maybe it's your perspective of the world that's got you fucked up. If you don't trust nobody, cool, don't trust nobody. I don't trust nobody. I don't like the people that I like. He don't even like me, and I, I'm I'm just here with him. I can't stand this nigga. <laughs> I'm just okay. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. But you see what the fuck I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, real shit. No, nah, if I fuck with you, like, bro, it's that that just is what it is. If I fuck with you on that level, especially to you know, for niggas, to, we work together. Like, I went out. If I go out of my way to have a conversation with you and shit, like, me and this nigga used to. Me and this nigga was just, just talking about all types of crazy ass yeah, shit at work. That's what yeah. it was. And, just, and, and, and remember that day that we was, uh, not not you and I, but it was, uh, you, ain't that about a bitch? I'll be John Brown. How many Hold times on. is this shit going to happen? He'll entertain you while I try to fix the lighting situation. All right, man, we got to go on a quick commercial break. Let me show y'all niggas something real quick, bro. Don't worry, I ain't finna pull my dick out of nothing. That's fucking, un- that's inappropriate. This motherfucking uh, commercial is brought to you by um, Racism at Waffle House. Do you not like niggas around your bacon? I don't know what the fuck to tell you. It's a lot of niggas around here. Now, if I was you, what I would do, I would take my bacon and I would put it on the side furthest away from the niggas. You ain't gotta sit here and take your racism and all your fucking all your fuck shit. I don't like black people. Why? That's the thing about shit like that. If you were to go up to a person who does not like another race of people just because of their race, if you ask them what it is about that race or that particular person that makes them tick, they wouldn't be able to fucking tell you. Ask a racist white person. I mean, I guess. If they're racist, it probably wouldn't be that easy to just have a conversation with them. But just ask the motherfuckers. What did they do to you? What is it about black people that makes you think you're just supposed to hate all the motherfuckers just because? You have no idea, do you? You hate niggas just because you feel like you should. Somebody else told you to hate niggas, so you hate niggas. Imagine being that nigga. Imagine being a grown ass motherfucker and you hate somebody else because somebody else that sucks ass as a person told you to. Kill yourself. Die. Tonight. R.I.P. You just killed the club. <laughs> Let me. What is this? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I 
I became a flapper fish. I don't know what that is. <laughs> is that the word? This nigga turned into a whole different species of nigga. <laughs> I was doing the black stingray thing. <laughs> Damn, R.P. Steve Burma, man. Oh, man, for real. That shit still hurts. That, okay, I'm sorry. No pun, no pun intended. I, well, it doesn't hurt him. He's dead. All right, so um, getting back to what, what we were talking about. And I, oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> I want to add one more thing. And this, the, the, this, this, will, this will kind of drive the, the, my point home about the, the situation with the video. <laughs> now, surely enough, it's like you bumped in us and you didn't say, or bumped into her, and you didn't say, excuse me, because you're racist. And they were like, what? You know, and that was just kind of crazy. And here's the thing. Now, you know, they were kind of still going back and forth a little bit. You know, the, the white couple wasn't really, I mean, they were defending themselves. It was like, you know, it's not, it, don't, come on, we're not, it's not, it has nothing to do with that. And then one of the girls was like, um, yada, 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 I'll beat your white ass. Okay, okay, now look, what if he said, he said, she said it to the, the, the guy, I'll beat your white ass. What if he said, I'll beat your black ass? Wouldn't that be hugely racist for him to say it's the exact same thing? What she said was just as racist. Yes. It, it, it just was. Out of nowhere, I'll beat your white ass. What did it just, just beat his ass? You don't have to beat his, beat his white you ass. You got to beat his ass. Why? What, what difference does it make the niggas white? Yeah. What, what, what does the color of the ass mean? What does that mean? What is it, is, is it going to be? What? Is it going to be flatter? Is it white? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> understand. You, I'll beat your white ass. Super duper flat, and you can't find it to beat it. He's just gonna be beating his tailbone and his high thigh bone in the back. That's all you're gonna be doing. But that's beside the point. If he would have said, <laughs> if he would have said that to her, everybody would have lit the fuck up and laid off into him. Yada yada yada. She says it just like, uh, well, okay, it just is what it is. Like, no, 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 no. no you don't just skate bitch. past that. You don't just skate past it like that because it's the same shit. Like, if you're gonna say someone's racist, make sure that you hold yourself to that same standard. If you're gonna say some shit. That could be deemed as racist. Exactly. Why the fuck and, niggas I tell you that? And stop with that stupid shit about the, the, the black people can't be racist. Yes, we can be racist. I understand what y'all are saying, and how, I don't really want to get too deep into it because it is it is another rabbit hole. And trust me, we can go. But it's not about whether or not we can be racist or not. We have the ability to. In certain situations, it probably isn't set up for us to have that mentality to be that because we don't have as much of what. It, I know what they're trying to say when they say we can't be racist. We don't have it's, it's, it's not possible. It is possible. It's just they're thinking about it as, as, as everything's on the same level, but it's not. It's not quite like that. It's not like it's a, a all or nothing as far as racism. Well, we can't be this level of racist, so we just can't be racist. Like no, 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 no. no. There's, there's a whole lot of wiggle room in this motherfucker right here. That's why you're saying I can't be short bus retarded, so I can't be stupid. Yes, you can. There's some stupid smart motherfuckers on this planet. I don't know if you've noticed. What is the definition? What do you think the definition of racism is? It is the belief that one race is inferior to another for whatever reasons that you decide in your fucking brain. So what makes you think that you cannot think that white people are lesser than you or that white people don't deserve don't de don't deserve the respect that you do? I don't know what just happened to my tongue. Like a lot of y'all motherfuckers, you low key are racist. Because you're looking for every reason to say the white people are racist. You don't like these people. You're not even giving them a fair chance to show you a white person that you would respect. Because you already got made up in your mind that they fucked up. Yeah. You racist yeah. son of a bitch. You already got. Oh, and and, not, and and yes, we do understand. We do understand something. There's a difference between racism and prejudice. Now, a lot of times, some people do sit there and, and what they're describing someone when they say race, they really just mean prejudice. I get that. I completely understand because yes, you're absolutely right. Because um, you can be prejudiced, or, or you can, or racism and prejudice they don't really come. They're not exactly the same thing because you know there's there's levels to it. There are different types of it and things like that. It's like look, you can be prejudiced and not be racist, but you can't be racist without being prejudiced. Now I mean, I went straight over some of y'all's head. <laughs> some of y'all niggas don't even understand it, that shit. They're looking, they're looking for what we said to be racist. Like, where's exactly. The, where's the racist? Where's the racist? Oh, where's the racist? Where's the racist? I feel like you said some racist. Let me, let me dig in this goddamn bag. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, the truth for shit that I said. Straight up. Straight over. Oh, there's a drone. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but, um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, there, there's a whole lot more. Trust me, this this thing can go on for hours if we really wanted to. That's what she said. God damn um, it, man. <laughs> She only said that because she was just laying there. Fucking bitch. I'm putting in some work. Huh? Don't be the dead frog. Rip it, nigga. Do something. What the fuck? Just sitting there expecting this nigga to give you the world of dick. And you just sitting there and just giving this nigga a little drop of pussy. How you gonna give me a... How you gonna give a nigga a drop of pussy and you expect him to give you all the dick he got? Let me tell you something, bitch. I'm leaving my dick at home till you prove yourself worthy. Fuck this. I'm tired of this shit. Y'all be, do y'all understand what it's like to have a PP? Let me explain wait, something wait, wait, wait. to you. This shit does not work how you think it should work. Just because you and I both want this motherfucker to get up and we want this nigga to be active and do what the fuck we needed to do does not mean that's what the fuck gonna happen. Your pussy is not always it's not always slippery now, is it? No, it is not. not but I tell you slide. what. You bitches can get aroused, okay? And when you get aroused, that thing, man, man, start to uh, juice. <laughs> so that way. You gotta make sure before you put the car in that you know the car wash is ready to be to wash the car. What kind of metaphor was that? that was I mean, I saw when you was going with it though. See, that's the thing. Yeah. But think, do y'all niggas understand? This here is an organ that has to more. It, it has to change from its base form to a, a, a super saiyan, and it has to get hard and rigid and stiff. And muscular, like a big ass bicep. He got an anime dick. <laughs> I, just, I just got, you know, some yeah. Teen Titans. That's, Damn. that's all. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. I got a SpongeBob. I, I, I can't. I can't. You know, he might. He might have Death Note. <laughs> and I got Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Did that say I'm ready? <laughs> because that's what these bitches want. And look, I fucking understand. But understand something. D- you don't understand the pressure of having a dick. If this nigga does not work when I need it to, it is the most embarrassing thing on the face of this planet. You don't know what that's like as a female. You ain't got to wait for your dick to get hard and hope it stays there to the point where I get the job done. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we might circle back to that, but I want to tell you something you said. You said how embarrassing it is, though. Made me think of something. What would you say is the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you at work? Oh shit! Let me th- okay. Let's say what. Say what. Let me let me let me eliminate this joke. Okay. Let's see. We got that job. Mm-hmm. We got that job. Oh yeah, we got that job. Uh, have I ever fallen at work? Mm-hmm. I ran into a couple of walls. I'm sure. Like hard, like to, to the point like I thought I cleared it, but like it was there. Like I'm walking and shit. I probably had some plates in my hand. Right. Speak. Hold on. Let me let me tell y'all why. <laughs> like who put this wall there where people walk? <laughs> Did anyone else just hear that? Because I heard it and I felt it because I was there. Let me tell y'all about something that happened to me one time and why it was so embarrassing. That was a long, long time ago. And, you know, hey, I'm trying to be Mr. Cool Guy, all this, you know, smooth shit and all that. But let me tell you about how uncool this shit was. I'm at a job, right? Just kind of walking. I was at a, um, this when they used to have those video stores. It was a premiere video or movie gallery. It was right, right before movie gallery turned into movie gallery. It was premiere video. It was basically saying like a blockbuster, basically. Seriously. Y'all don't know. Um, there, you know, putting some movies up, putting some movies up. Boom. And I saw a female. Damn it, she was good. She looked good. She was extremely hot. I was like, damn. So I'm there putting the movie up. Boom. Go to the side. Put the movie up. Boom. Over here. Put this movie over here. And I look. And I'm like walking. I'm like, damn. She looked good. So I'm like, 
Hey, and she kind of, you know, we, we kind of made eye contact. So I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then, okay, see, where I was walking was right here. Now, there was a wall over here. Well, I was aware of the wall. I knew there was a wall right there. I knew it was. So I wasn't walking into the wall. But there was a door that was sitting God right damn. next to the wall where you go to the back, where, you know, where the little office is and all that kind of stuff. Fuck. So I'm walking and I was like, shit, I'm well aware of this wall. And then as soon as I turn, I'm to my right head. Boom! God damn it! And see, now, now yes, you can hear it if you're running to the wall. But you can hear a whole lot more when you run into the door, bars. Because for one, there's nothing but space and air behind the door, so it can resonate and it can reverb. It can hit the wall in the back, then come back to the door right here. So it's like dum 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 dum. <laughs> I thought it was like some Miami bass come to because somebody had a system back there. But when I hit it, here's the one thing. Now, I hit the door, and there was a vibration. So the movies that were on the wall kind of fell down. <laughs> and, and this female that I thought was hot saw the whole thing. <laughs> Not only that, but the manager was right there. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he looked at me he just started laughing his ass off at me as the female walked away he was still laughing about his face red he was sniffing gasping for air <laughs> trying to get it out <laughs> and I'm like bro it's not that funny, funny he's like bitch. yes it is he said yes it is and then so I had to go to the back and just kind of wait <laughs> for the moment to die down but as soon as I came back out he was looking at me and laugh again so that was probably the most embarrassing at that point. I was like, I don't know if I was out of my twenties then, some man, I, I might have been, you know, around nineteen or twenty, or something like that. But it was, it was, it was crazy. And I'm saying, you know, I'm trying to be smooth, looking at this girl like, hey, how you doing? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and, then the, and then the movie goes. I'm like, y'all didn't have to do all that. Now y'all just extra. The, 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 the yeah. movies was laughing for that show. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> the movie said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> they just falling out. Why the movies got to be petty? Why Why the VHS cassettes got to be all in my business, you know, pointing, laughing at me and falling down? They falling down laughing. Tapes all over the place. Them tapes all talking to each other. You see that nigga? Ah. Jerry Maguire and some other shit. <laughs> Lion King. He's like, Simba. I'm like, why is he going through all that, man? That's not necessary. That was so fucked up. But that was funny as hell. Not to me, but I'm glad I brought entertainment and amusement to everyone else. I had to go back man, there and that. kind of wait out the shame. And they came back out like, all right, all right. Man, this motherfucker. This bitch ain't never gonna come back now. <laughs> no, all they gonna nigga to be running into shit. <laughs> but people gotta stop doing that shit. So I ain't saying this happened, but motherfucker, like a bitch will see you do some shit like that, bro. You are immediately disqualified. Yeah. She will never suck your dick uh, out. Because oh, you ran into a wall. Like she ain't never ran into a wall before. Bitch falling downstairs trying to walk in heels and shit. Ooh. I'm sorry. But the thing is, like, but we'll, we'll still get with her. Hell yeah. Yeah, you're damn right. Judge you because you failed, bitch. You're supposed to. Your ankles ain't supposed to work right all the time. You should have put big ass shoes on in the first place. Paper mache front of us. You knew goddamn well you can walk in the motherfucking wedges and you put them bitches on. Put them on anyway. Feet flat as a motherfucker trying to walk in there. You walk, you unstable like a baby giraffe. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to find your footing in some shoes you ain't got no business wearing. They're either too small or you don't have good enough balance. You're not graceful. So you can't just. No, yeah. 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 Watch you tip drilling while you walk. (laughs) Why the fuck are you tip drilling while you walking? (laughs) Like, bro, y'all got stuff. Hey, look, ladies, let me let me just throw this out. If you got to take your shoes off as soon as you get to the establishment, you should have left them bitches where you buy got. some shoes that fit. Thank you, my boys. Oh no, man, it's buy shit. some shoes that fit. <laughs> this shit working in reverse. Yeah. I hate when puberty just pop back up on your ass. Yeah. <laughs> remember and me? <laughs> and they just leave. <laughs> Hey, what the fuck, man? We already been through all this shit. Yeah, like many, many moons ago. So don't show back up now. I mean, I guess it, it, it can be fair since, like, now it doesn't really affect yeah. our mood. Like, we don't feel bloated. I'll just give it to another break. We don't need to get into all that. We don't really have that type of issue. So thank you for tuning in <laughs> to whatever cream your Twinkie. And if you don't like what we said, we don't, we're going to keep going anyway. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to say some other shit. Um, so, but yeah, uh, so yeah, so there's that. Oh, oh, one other thing. Uh, one, one final note. And we know, um, 
the the person who shall not be named because they didn't specify it'd be okay for us to do it. We're not going to do that. Uh, one more question about it, about or to us and, and for us. It was um, you know what, like if any movies, TV shows, or books that really had a positive impact on our lives. What do you think? You had any anything? Or I mean, it doesn't have to be or. It can be and. I have had this and that or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, so that question was asked, and uh, I, had to, I really had to think about that, like. I did it too. Because if I was ever watching TV, it was solely for entertainment. Then again, we can get real technical and we can go with a show like Next. Remember the MTV show Next? No. Okay, well, I'll give you a basic synopsis here. Okay. Basically, you've seen like the dating shows, Flavor of Love, mm. and Real Chance of Love, yeah, yeah, and yeah. all this old fuck ass shit. Right. Well, this was the white people version. So, this is what was going on it was a bus, big ass bus set next on that motherfucker. The whole object of the show was that they would pick one person, and this one person would be trying to find somebody that they might like to date. So, they would bring like five or six potential people out that bitch. And they would put them on this bus, and all these people would just be congregating on this bus, talking to each other, like, hey, man, like, what, you, you think you can get, you think you can pull this bitch? And they'd be like, I mean, shit, maybe. You know, I'm tall. I used to play basketball in college and work at Kinko's and shit. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I got a chance. Like, it was shit like that. Okay. So the niggas would get off the bus, and, you know, depending on how the female or the guy, you know, felt about the person that they saw, you know, they would they would just take it, you know, they would more or less go on a mini date to try to get to know the person, see if they want to fuck with him or not. Okay. Um, and then they would choose one at the end. Um, every now and again, there would be an instance where a person would step off the bus, and as soon as they step off the bus... The person would be like, next. <laughs> because the whole thing was if they if, if they decide that they don't want to fuck with you, they would they would uh how how do you say it? they would let the, the, the niggas know by saying next. So that's how they know, okay, date's over, I'm not fucking with you, I don't want to date you, I don't want to take this any further. This is a wrap. <laughs> so they would next show ass. Some, a lot of the times that would happen during the course of the date and the bitch would start to get a bad vibe or what have you and then they would next the nigga at that point in and the middle of the date? in the middle of the date she'd be like yeah you like the Atlanta Falcons I'm gonna have to say next or you know I don't like doing you've been kind of rude you've been paying attention you've been very unattentive on the date I'm gonna have to say next you didn't next. tip the server you didn't tip you fucking bitch I'll pu you know what next but yeah <laughs> But every now and again, a nigga would get nexted the second he stepped off the bus. That's cold. I remember one time, a nigga didn't even get all the way off. He still had both feet on the last step and nexted his ass. Do you know everybody on the bus hit his shit? This nigga still, he just, he is in stride. Next. Can't do nothing. You can't be like, wait a minute, bitch, give me a chance. No, she next joins you back on the fucking bus. It just is what it is. Next nigga. Then you got to watch the next nigga get further than you do. Like actually get off the bus? Yeah. <laughs> we both got next to it. First of all, you got next to it in the first round. I'll even made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Then you got next to it at the tip-off. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make it to the playoffs. I just got there. <laughs> I said all that to say, you know, um, uh, any reason to not fuck with you. I learned that early. Uh, sometimes I'll be like, why did you? Because, I mean, of course, they would kind of ask them why they next to the person. Okay. And they would not always have a straight answer. I ain't like his jeans. He looked like my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I heard all types of shit. But, um, yeah, for some reason, that put it in my head. It's like... You bitches are quite critical. That nigga might be the dopest nigga of all time. You next to that nigga because his jeans are a little weird. I mean, <laughs> fair. I understand. Kinda. Of. But oh, that just that that taught me what to expect with females at a young age. I put it like that. I'm like, man, y'all might be kind of uh Y'all bitches are cold. <laughs> y'all looking for real y'all can't wait to dismiss a nigga. 
I, I saw how willing females were to dismiss a nigga. And I say that because I started to pay attention to the females that were around me, the young bitches at the time. And it's like, kind of got some of the same vibes. Not that I was trying them, but just seeing how they interacted with other niggas. It's like, y'all love trying to make a nigga feel this fucking big. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with y'all, man. Y'all bitches are callous. And I don't even like saying that because I feel like I'm giving you too much credit. Some of you bitches like being like that. You like other niggas telling you that you being like that. I'm proud of that. I don't care enough about you, father. I'm just saying, you bitches, that's why some of y'all single. But I ain't gonna worry about that. Um, Cosby show was great. Yeah, Cosby. Cosby, Cosby show. Yes. Family values, you know, fuck all, you know, everything. You know what I'm saying? With the rape allegations and all. You can, you can keep that shit. That was a great goddamn show. Yeah. Um, yeah. I learned what D.C. and Washington, D.C. stood for by watching the Cosby show. Very... <laughs> Informative ass show. I learned the importance of family values and all types of shit like that. Fresh press. I learned the importance of throwing the nigga out of your house when you don't want him in there no more. <laughs> and the form that you were. Like, ah! <laughs> this nigga was like, look, you have to fall, you have to fall out this way. You can't just do that. Yeah, you might, you might hurt your shoulder. So right. you got to, you got to just learn, learn how to throw my safely. Yeah, learn how to throw my safely. Oh, all types of shit. Coach Carter taught me how to be, how to handle my business. You can fuck what you don't want to do, what you're not used to. There's a task at hand. You are a coming of age man. And deal with it. Stop just accepting the fact that you're probably going to be a statistic. Choose to be better. Challenge yourself, bitch. Mm. Mm. Good going, coach. I will say one movie that really kind of stood out to me, and it, it might be weird, but not, I mean, it's not a weird movie, but. It's not weird. Here's what I'm gonna say. Um, <laughs> and y'all know the movie Hustle and Flow. Whoop that Whoop trick, that trick. get him. <laughs> Let me tell you why that movie was important and really stood out and inspired me. Talk about hookers. This, this was look. Audience, <laughs> don't get ahead of me. This is my story, damn it. So, <laughs> look. The game, ah. the game, still remains the same. So, no, nah, ah. but seriously, the thing, <laughs> ah. the, movie, the movie stood out to me because it was like, wow, it was inspiring to me as as an artist. You know, I, I do hip hop music as well, and I was like, man, you know, him coming from the mud, and coming from something different, doing his thing one way, and then just the way all of it kind of came together for him to finally be heard. I mean, it's, it's not a typical story, but the thing is, it's like, wow, you put in a whole lot of work to get there. So that just kind of, you know, re-inspired me to, I mean, I was already still going to do more music, but I was like, man, you know what? It doesn't matter what happens, what goes on. If you have a voice and you still want to do it, do what you do. It doesn't matter about where you came from or um, the age or whatever, uh, culture or anything like that. Do that because if that's what you think and that's what you put your heart and mind and soul and body into, then do that. Put in, put everything into it so that way you can, um, you don't want to say, I didn't make it because I didn't try. If you tried and didn't make it, then okay, at least you tried to do it. Because plenty of people don't even try it and say they didn't make it. Well, you didn't try to do it. So, yeah, yeah. so there's that. But um, but yeah, like I said, it's not a, like a typical story. Not like, well, you know, all rappers are really just come from there and they're all were pimps and all that. No, 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 no. You know, he put in a whole lot of work and had to learn about a lot of things basic stuff on, on the way to becoming you know i don't want to say a star a superstar rapper but you know he was getting his getting his weight up as far as that game goes so that's this is what kind of stood out to me it was important for me to think about and, and see an inspirational story like that I so that. i can feel that whoop that tree get him 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 I'm open your eyes. <laughs> What's a nigga head? Deep and dirty red. Fight for his night as he whistles to the man. Oh, man. The rest of the words. Wow. The rest of the words, man. It's all good. You need to remember the rest of the word. You know but you saying? know what? That's going to be the show for today. We're going to come back with you, though. Shout out to Cap and Nick. Shout out to Cap and Nick. Yeah. One of the real ones. It's my Cap real nigga. The <laughs> This gonna be me after I whoop a racist person's ass in jail.